we have seen basic concepts of queue, circular queue and their implementations with array. Now we will see how to implement queue with linked list. Let's see quick recap. Queue is a collection of entities that are maintained in sequence. From one end, rare elements will be inserted into queue. From other end, front deletion of elements will be done. Adding elements at rare is called as NQ and removing elements at front is called as DQ. First added element will be removed first. So queue is called as first in first out data structure. We have already seen queue implementation with array. Let's see queue implementation with linked list. In linear queue, even if we have empty space, we cannot add elements to queue if rare is at maximum index. But with circular queue, we can utilize this empty space by turning this array into closed circle like this. Then this front and rare drift around endlessly in this circle. Yet this circular queue doesn't solve the main problem of array implementation. Array is Fixed size and the items of the array are stored in contiguous manner in memory. Suppose if we enter these two elements 3 and 4, then Q is full. We cannot enqueue anything else. We can enlarge the array. For example, we can double the size of the array. Here, array size is 8. So, create the array of size 16. Then copy all these elements into that new array. It will take big of n time. Suppose if you have n elements, then it will take big of n time. It is costly operation. If you maintain two pointer side and tail, insertion at tail and removal at head in single link lists are fast, means it will take big of one time, means constant time. As link lists are not stored contiguously in memory, link lists can grow and shrink as needed. We can call this head as front in Q and we can call this tail as rare in Q. In link list implementation of Q, NQ and DQ operations will take big of 1. If you want to add one element to our queue, in linked list implementation, we need to allocate memory dynamically on heap. This create node function will allocate memory for linked list node on heap by using this mlog function. Base address of allocated memory stored in new node point. If we pass argument 1 to this nq function, here that value will be stored in new node data field. 1 will be stored here. Initially, newly created node, next field will be null. So, null means nothing but address 0. Here I am writing like this. This create node function will return new node address to the calling function. So, this new node pointer in nq function will be pointing to newly created node. Initially, global variables front and rare will be null, means q is empty. This is the first node, here front is null. So, make this new node as front. Right now, rare is also pointing to this only node in q. So, here front and rare assigned with new node address. Again, we want to perform this nq operation. So, new node will be created and its address is stored in new node pointer. Here, front is not null means link list is not empty. So, add this newly created node to the rear of the queue. That can be done by storing this new node address in rare next field. Previously, rare next was null. Now, we will place this 1040 into this rare next field. Now, this rare next field is pointing to this new node. Now, we have two nodes in our queue, but rare is still pointing to first node. So, now make this new node as rare. Now, rare equal to this new node. Similarly, for this NQ operation also, new node will be created. Here also, front is not equal to null, means link list has some nodes within it. Add this newly created node to the rare. Previously, rare next was null. So, now rare next is updated with this newly created node. Rare next equal to new node address. Now, update rare means make this last node as rare by assigning new node address to this rare pointer. 1056 will be copied into this rare pointer. In array implementation, we increment the rare index and add the item at the 
rare index after checking overflow but in linked list implementation we no need to check for overflow condition because linked lists are not stored contiguously in memory linked list can grow as needed right now we have three items in our queue rent is pointing to starting node and rare is pointing to last node we want to perform dq operation it should remove node at rent this can be simply done by advancing rent pointer in forward direction but we created memory for all this linked list nodes dynamically for this first node we need to free that memory to avoid memory leaks so before advancing rent pointer store its contents in temp pointer this temp pointer will be used to free the memory then advance this rent pointer by storing rent next contents in rent point previously rent is here now rent next is 1040 so rent next 1040 will be copied to rent now rent will be pointing to this second node now delete this first node with the help of this temp pointer deletion can be done with this free function same process will be repeated for next dq also store this rent pointer in temp then advance this rent pointer then delete temp suppose if you perform one more dq so store this rent in temp pointer then advance this rent pointer since only one node is present within our queue now rent next will be null if you have single node in queue if we delete that node queue will be empty so we need to set rent and rare pointers to null then delete last node now queue is empty if we try to perform one more dq operation on empty queue underflow will happen so we need to handle that to handle that we need to add this logic if rent equal to null raise this error queue underflow here rent equal to null means queue is empty we cannot perform dq so raise this error queue underflow similar to array implementation we need to advance the rent after checking for underflow condition and delete the node that was previously at the front this is complete program for queue implementation with linked list include this header file for dynamic memory allocation functions then this is the node structure for single linked list initially front and rear are null means queue is empty at compile time memory will be allocated automatically for arrays but while implementing with linked list we need to allocate memory dynamically this create node function will allocate memory on heap by using this mlock function this mlock function will return base address of newly created block of memory that will be saved in this pointer new node with this new node pointer we can add data into newly created node this is nq function it has one parameter this nq function calls create node function it will return newly created node address if q is empty means rent and rare are null then our newly created node is the first node in q so make rent and rare points to newly created node if q is already has some elements means q is not empty add newly created node in rare next field and make this new node as rare this function not returning anything so return type is void here overflow condition is not required because we are implementing it with linked list this is dq function it will check for underflow condition if q is not empty we need to remove front node so before deletion of the first node advance the front pointer and delete previous front which is stored in this temp pointer here we store this front in this temp pointer in this tq function we need to handle one special case if only one node is present in queue after deletion of node queue will be empty so set rare also to null front is already incremented so now front will be null this is the display function prints the contents of queue we need to check whether queue is empty or not if queue is not empty we need to print the contents of queue to print the contents of queue this while loop will print node data then advance this temp pointer until temp not equal to null if we execute this program
here we are performing these three NPO operations so now Q contents are 1, 2 and 3 then we perform this 4 DQ operations first 3 will delete front element after 3 DQ operations these 3 elements will be removed from Q so Q will be empty last DQ will raise error Q underflow here we are trying to print the contents of Q with this display function since Q is empty this display function will raise Q is empty error Q is empty 